This is SNN. Good morning, Saugus. I'm George Aguila, and today's Thursday, August 25th. I hope you're having a very pleasant good morning today. And I'm Jake Schick, and this is SNN, the Saugus News Network. Today is also National Secondhand Wardrobe Day, meaning it's National Youth Clothes Day. So go to Goodwill or the Salvation Army today and buy a pair of pants. Or oh. that cool denim jacket. Oh, yeah. Now please stand for the flag salute. For the shop. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Students with off-campus privileges, please be sure to carry your ID card at all times. You must have your ID card with you to leave campus at the beginning of lunch. If you have forgotten your ID card, you will not be able to leave campus until the conclusion of lunch. If you are 17 or older and would like to work in the hospitality industry, career and college readiness, it used to be called ROP, they're offering a hotel restaurant operations class this semester. Students attend the class and are given an internship which could lead to permanent employment. See Mrs. Dahlquist in the counseling office for more information. Now, if you know or believe you will need to complete a certain number of community service hours, why not get started with those hours early? Sign up as a volunteer worker at the Michael Hofflin Foundation Gala, Evening Under Stars and be a part of helping an organization who serves families fighting pediatric cancer. The gala is on Saturday, September 17th, and volunteers can earn between 8 to 10 hours. See Mrs. Meza in L1204 for more information. In support of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in September, a former Saga student will be hosting a lemonade stand on Thursday, September 1st at 2 p.m. for the Michael Hofflin Foundation that saved the former student's three-year-old daughter from cancer. The stand will be across the street from Saugus High School, and every dollar would go towards the foundation. You can receive five hours of volunteering every night you volunteer for Safe Rides. Training for new volunteers begins this Saturday in the Activity Center on Center Point Parkway by the Skate Park. For more information, visit the website below. The yearbook is at its lowest price of the year, but it won't last long. If you're not sure if you bought one, please visit the ASB office to check and purchase a yearbook. You can also buy a yearbook at the yearbook's website listed below. Senior, uh, senior tributes for this year's yearbook are now available. Make sure you pay for the, your tribute space by September 2nd. Contracts can be downloaded from the yearbook website or picked up in the ASB office. Contracts must accompany your photo and message submission, which must be turned in by September 13th. Now, let's go to the one, the only, Danny Willard with your sports news. Hey there, Saugus. I'm Denny Willard here with your sports news. The Saugus Varsity Girls golf team defeated Canyon 262 to 285 Tuesday afternoon at Elkins Ranch. Senior Clara Vanger was a low medalist with a 42. The squad is in action this afternoon against Simi Valley at Simi Hills Golf Course. Saugus Cheer will be holding a fundraiser at Jersey Mike's in the Bouquet Center today from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Girls soccer tryouts will take place at Central Park starting on Wednesday, August 31st and run until Friday, September 2nd. The trials will start at 2.30 and finish at 5. If you have a 7th period, you will come to the tryouts after the school day is finished. If you have any questions, you can see Coach Miner in the boys' PE office during first brunch or at lunch. Boys' soccer trials will be held September 19th at Central Park. Returning players will try out from 2.15 to 3.15, and new players will try out from 3.15 to 4.30. While the Olympics has finished for this year, some athletes were preparing for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Stay tuned for the second episode of Centurion Spotlight. Hi, I'm Tanner Olson, and I'm this week's Centurion Spotlight. Uh, when I'm not swimming or doing schoolwork, I just hang with my family and play with my dog. Um, I have two sisters. One's Taylor, she's the middle uh, sister, and Tara, she's the oldest. Uh, my mom is a special needs aide, and my dad's an electrician. When I was little, I always loved the water. And when I was three or four, my parents started putting me in lessons at the YMCA for like my own coach. And I mean, I just kind of grew up with swimming. And... He really enjoys swimming. He's been doing it since he's, I think he started when he was five. 
for practices, um, we do dry land first, and that's that's more of um, I would say like like lightning fast kind of movements. Uh, we do a lot of cross training, like with heavy medicine balls. Uh, we we box a lot just to get those fast reactions. You want to be fast off the blocks and fast in the water. In the 50 free, the fastest I've gone is 20.6. And in the hunter breast, I go 54.8. He's got an awesome coach, which really helps. Um, but you know, he, it's not only swimming. You know, it's it's nutrition. Um, it's what he does out of the pool as well. I actually was going for John Christie's record in the hunter breast stroke uh, last year. He's a great Olympian that went to our school. But. Hopefully, I, I'll get it this year. Well, it's, that's a, a pretty big goal. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't understand, you know, how difficult it is to make an Olympic team. Um, I mean, obviously, we hope he does, but he's got a lot of work to do. To anyone who's swimming and trying to improve in their swimming, just keep working harder because it'll all pay off in the end. Thank you for that, Jake. And now, Saugus, if you have a story that you'd like to share with the community, please visit saugusnews.org forward slash centurion hyphen spotlight. There will be an informational meeting today at 6.30 in M1307 for those interested in going to the lease in June 2017. Prices will go up soon, so sign up now for the lowest price. Baby powder is not allowed at any school functions, including football games. Baby powder is not allowed to be brought in any container in, or in any other way. If you are disobeying the school rules, you will be given consequences, including removal from the game. Sorry for any of you LeBron James fans. Applications for the California Scholarship Federation are available in room Q1701. Membership is based on the grades from the spring 2016 semester. Completed applications are due no later than Friday, September 9th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Collada in room Q1701. Want to be part of the club at Saugus? Go to the outdoor stage tomorrow to sign up for the over 100 clubs on campus. Trader Joe's is looking to hire two Saugus students between the ages of 16 and 18 to be part of their My First Job program. Email the address listed below for an application. The United States Naval Academy at Annapolis will be hosting an admissions forum for students and parents interested in attending the Naval Academy. The presentation will be taking place on Sunday, September 11th at 1 p.m. at Golden Valley High School. For more information on how to RSVP, please see your counselor. Well, Saugus, that's all for today. I'm George Aguila. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Jake Schick. For more news for everything today, visit saugusnews.org newsroom. Now have a spectacular day. Bye.